Let's be upstanding as we worship our maker this morning. Let's be upstanding as we worship God. As we reference his name. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's the reason why we are alive. He's the very air that we breathe. He's our helper. He's our sustainer. He's our protector. Just worship him in the beauty of his holiness. Just lift up your voice and bless his holy name. Worship him for who he is. For all that he is. In your life, in your family. For all that he has done. For what he is doing. And that which he will do. Just worship him, the one that has created you. Worship the one that has created you. Worship the one that has given you life. You are worthy, Jesus. Lift up your voice so your gaze and be you lifted up your everlasting doors. That a king of glory shall come in. The king of glory is here this morning. Just bless his name. Bless his name. He's worthy. He's a covenant keeping God. That is why we are still alive. That's why we are gathering here today. The same roots we apply every day. So many people apply that root and they are nowhere to be found. Some apply the same roots and they saw themselves in the hospital. Some are lying in the mortuary. But here we are in his presence to give him thanks. Just wave those beautiful hands and say thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you for your love. Thank you because you're a covenant keeping God. Thank you, Jesus. We'll bless your name. Oh, 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 you are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God.
bless you of his holiness. Just lift up your hands and bless your maker. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your mercy. See what you've done for me. See how you set me free. You are the living God. Can I get witness in the house? Yes, See what you've done for me. See how you delivered me. Oh. You are the Savior on our shield, the one who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. We worship you. We bless your holy name. We bow before your majesty. See what you've done for me. See how you set me free. You are, you are the leader. Ba 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 
What a great God you are. What a privilege to worship you. Our King and our Shepherd, we worship you. We have come to adore you. We have come to place your name. My Father, my God, we plead with you tonight. This morning, Lord, please accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. And as I have come to worship you, Lord, we ask, Lord, that you will have access into our life. Have access into our family. Have access into our finances. Have access into our nation. Move and manifest your glory. Our King and our Shepherd, let your light shine, O oh God. And let it shine brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. Let your glory be seen in us, O oh God. In today's meeting, Lord, Glorify your name, Holy Spirit. Glorify Jesus, Holy Spirit. Let there be healing. Let there be salvation. Let there be deliverance. Let men of God behold your glory afresh. And let the anointing come afresh on us. We will go home with God getting stronger and better. Thank you, our Redeemer. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are praying. And we declare the second service open again. In your name, O oh God, in the name of God, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Please be seated. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Chosen generation. Praise the Lord. Permit me to say this morning that a lot of us have diligently sought the Lord. He has heard our cry and it's time to show his goodness as 1 um, Peter 2.9 says. So it's testimony time. Testimony time. I have two names before me this morning. Mrs. Chineye Chukwebuka and A.P. Nkechi Okonkwo. Mrs. Chinneye Chukwebuka and A.P. Nkechi Okonkwo. God bless you. And I think I'm allowed to take one more person. One more person. 
So if you want to show the goodness of God, run to the front. God bless you. And um, you are giving just one minute, please. Just one minute. You didn't run fast enough. Excuse me, please. You didn't run fast enough. Master. Okay. Grace found you. <laughs> okay. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I've been contemplating coming now, God. I cannot deny God's message for my life. I want to thank God. I, first, I want to say prayers work. There's a time in my life I felt God had left me. I didn't see the point praying or going to church. But I thank God for my friend that dragged me back. And since that day, I have dedicated my life to God and he has done marvelously well in my life. I want to say thank God for that. The way I presently work, I moved there July 2022. I daily in the industry I work, promotion comes at least after two years. I want to thank God. I sat at the gallery the day I prayed this prayer and I said I will come out and testify. Promotion list came out two weeks ago and I was promoted. Praise the I'm Lord. I'm supposed to be two years in July, but God has done it and I worship his name. My son I, um, celebrated his birthday last Monday and my birthday is tomorrow. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, my name is uh, Pius Madu. I come here to really appreciate God for what he has been doing in my life. Uh, last year, November 23rd, I lost my mom at the age of 89. And uh, I promised God that I want to give her a celebration of life because it was very, very wonderful wonder to me and my brethren. Uh, brethren. And so God moved into action. He was so marvelous. What God did, in fact, I cannot uh, say it in one break because uh, I had overflows of everything. Surplus. People, they came from east and west. He was so, so Praise much. The Lord. And I just want to say, you know, um, God, you are so faithful, so awesome, so mighty, so glorious, so wonderful, so excellent. You, there is none like you. Thank you, Jesus. I just bless the Lord with a little seat of thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm A.P. Kechini Okunkwo. I want to thank God. In the month of March, the week of the Easter, um, I had a distress call for one of my children. And on my way to go and attend to that um, call, I took an Okada. And as I'm uh, giving the testimony, I'm believing God that my days of Okada will soon be over. That's so um, I took it to first gate. And as I was uh, coming down, I didn't know that uh, these are Boki boys. Another one had landed very close to me. The next thing was, I was flat on my back. I mean, I don't know how I did not hit my head, but God took me on my back. And, um, you know, as a writer, your hands are very important. I think that was what the devil was trying to attack because while I was going back, the that man I took was trying to help me and Lord. he twisted my one of my fingers on my left hand so I take it that the devil challenged me but I've told him that you are a loser and I'm here to thank God that I'm standing nothing is broken thank Some people you hit Jesus their head and that was the end let somebody shout hallelujah Good morning, church. I'm Sister Chine Chukwebuka. I'm grateful to God for every breath that I take. I'm very particular about gratitude because something happened this week. Um, around 2 a.m. Tuesday morning, I got a distress call from one of my neighbors. And then the, the, the person in the other line just said, the only thing I heard was, Mom, please come and take my mommy to the hospital. She's about to die. And so I rushed out of the balcony to be sure that I'm not being set up. And so I saw the girl quickly open their gate and say, please, I'm the one that called you. So I rushed down, and then we rushed the woman to the hospital. 2 a.m. 
I don't even know how I got to the hospital. This woman was having an asthmatic attack and she was gasping for breath. Thankfully, we got to the hospital where she works as a nurse and then the doctor, they swung into actions. They were trying to resuscitate her. And according to the doctor, if the medication she was supposed to take was to go through the vein. So if they couldn't find her vein, there was nothing they could do. So close to 20 minutes that we got to the hospital, we are still looking for veins. Uh, Praise the, veins the Lord. Nowhere. And so before you know it, the woman passed out. And then it was something, what I saw that day, I've never seen all through my life. Uh, I think about 30 minutes there, You've about the doctor was able to your see time. her veins. You've overshot and your shot, time. And then Praise she resuscitated. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. When did this? Praise the Lord. I'm here to say thank you to my God Almighty because he always gives me victory. And I'm the, I, I was born in the, I, I am born in year 2000 and, hold on. I, I'm thanking God for the restoration of my life. And Jesus. because tomorrow is my body, Praise I have the to Lord. come out and say thank you. Thank you, I'm Jesus. I'm 77 years old. I have to give glory and honor to God. Hallelujah. Because God always makes me overcomer. When Praise the Lord, Church. Hallelujah. My name is Mrs. Shomo Okoro. I came to return all the glory back to, unto God. There is nothing I've asked on this altar that he has not done for me and my family. I actually want to thank God for successful traditional marriage and wedding which he, he granted unto my younger sister. Everybody came and went because I came to this altar. I told God, if everything went successful, I will come to testify. And it was successful. No accident, no problem. Everybody went and came back. I want to return all the glory back unto him. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for your wonderful works. Um, next time, please, when we come out to give our testimonies, let's go straight to the point so that we're not intercepting your testimonies and cutting you off. I apologize for what happened this morning. So let's thank the Lord. If you could please go on your knees. Let's thank God for all that he has done, for his marvelous wonders in your life. The Lord will continue to do you good. That which he has done for you shall not be stolen in the mighty name of Jesus. His shield will be around about you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Goodness and mercy shall encompass you about all the days of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Jehovah God, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Please let's rise as we continue in the service with the hymn. My faith looks up to thee. Please let's be on our feet as the choir leads us.
Amen. Please be seated. When it comes to a cry for manifestation, Jabez is someone that knew exactly what to do. He cried out and he told God exactly what he wanted. God is here right now today. What are you going to do? Please join me as I welcome the Victory House Choir. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. The Bible said in 2 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10, And Jabez cried out with a loud voice, saying to God, That thou wouldest bless me, Amen. increase and enlarge my territory, and that your hand be upon me. The, month, the theme of the month says, A cry for manifestation. I believe somebody is here to cry to the God of heaven, That thou wouldest bless me, enlarge my territory yes, and that your hand will be upon me if you believe that prayer pray it upon yourself and say that the lord would hear your cry and his hand will be upon you jabez prayer
worship him he's the one you have come to see here today why don't you release your spirit unto him and let him hear you directly as you speak to him in few words as you tell him how you feel here today in his presence in his house as you glorify your name in your own words as you tell him, Lord, I have not come to be entertained. I have come to participate. I've come to worship. I've come to praise you. Lord, I want you to know that I'm here. Oh, Lord. Speak something to the Lord. Tell him how you feel. How much you appreciate him. Lord, I appreciate you. Lord, I honor you. Lord, I exalt you. Thank you, my Father. Blessed be your name, O God. Blessed be your name, O God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I'd like you to choose your own song of worship and just worship the Lord for one or two minutes. This is the Easter season. The time that the Lord Jesus had come to praise the sacrifice for our soul. As we are celebrating Easter, we are saying to the Lord, we appreciate you for what you did. If not for you, where shall we be? You are the one who has made all the difference in our lives. You have taken away our darkness. You have substituted it with your light. Lord, we thank you. Jesus. Jesus, you love me too much, too much, too much, you excess love. Jesus, you love me too much, too much, too much, you excess love. Thank you, my father. Thank you for loving me too much. Thank you for loving me too much. 
Thank you for loving me too much. Thank you for loving me too much. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I wash. Blessed be your name, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ima, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Jesus, Lord. Emmanuel. We bless your name this morning. We worship you because there is none like you. We exalt you for all you have done for us. You have revealed yourself greatly in our lives. We thank you for being the wonderful, the counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father. You are the Prince of Peace. We thank you, Lord, for the sacrifice on the cross of Calvary. We thank you, Lord God of heaven, for your, for your sacrifices. We bless you, Lord, for fighting for us. We thank you, Lord, for overcoming the devil on our behalf. We give you glory for destroying every yoke of the oppressor concerning us. Accept our thanks and praise in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we have come again this day, O Lord, on this day of the Lord, to appreciate you, Lord, for watching over us for the past one week. And Lord, to commit the next one week to your hand. We pray that all we are going to do this morning shall proceed from you. In this month of our manifestation, we ask, Lord, that all of us shall manifest. And your name shall be glorified. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. And everybody will say, let somebody shout hallelujah. I'd like you to shake hands with at least five people and tell them, welcome to God's presence this morning. Welcome to God's presence this morning. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen and amen. And then we can have our seats. Very quickly, I want to thank God for um, the pastor and judge of the province who had um, given us the privilege to come and minister here. I want to give glory to God for LP3 and for Victory House. Let's put our trust together for this particular province. Glory be to God. And I want to thank God for the wife and for all the ministers who have been holding forth in this place. I pray for you that all of you, you will fulfill purpose. In the name of Jesus. And I want to thank God for all the members of Victory House. I pray that every day of your life, you will experience victory. Yeah. I want to assure you that it doesn't matter what is happening in Nigeria. You will soar. Yeah. This particular weekend, we have spoken about ego, soaring. And I believe that those of us who participated in the program of yesterday, you are already soaring. Eagles are known to soar in the midst of storms. Nigeria is passing through a time of storm. But may I tell you, it doesn't matter what is happening to those out there. When others are saying there is a casting down, you will say there is a lifting up. If you believe that, shout a good hallelujah. hallelujah. Why must you manifest? There are five reasons I have in, I mean, in front of me today. Why 
you must manifest. The topic or the theme that I have chosen for this month is a cry for manifestation. That's another way of saying there's someone here whose heart desire is to manifest the grace that the Almighty God has released upon you. Number one, the first reason why you must manifest is because the world is waiting for you. And I'd like you to help me tell your neighbor, the world is waiting for me. Please say it very well. You see, that's why you can't wait to manifest. Romans chapter 8, verse 19. The book of Romans chapter 8, verse 19 says, For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. And not only sons of God, but also daughters of God. Is your time to manifest. And you will manifest in the name of Jesus. The world is waiting for you. Without the manifestation of the children of God, a lot of things will be wrong in our world. The almighty God has created you in his own image. He has created you as little creators. Those to bring to pass the things that he has not created. When God created the first man, you remember, he created only one person. But within that person, within Adam, lies all that God will ever do. I normally tell people from time to time that all the civilization that we see today, every advancement that we see in architecture or in engineering or in medicine, or in CIT, or anything, whatsoever you can imagine, everything was inside Adam. Everything was inside Adam. It is all that God has packaged inside Adam that we are seeing now. So there is a lot that God has packaged inside of you that you have not revealed to the world. And the world is waiting for you. So I want you to help me tell your neighbor, the world is waiting for you. Please say it very well. Reason number two why you must manifest. Because God is about to judge your oppressors. I said God is about to judge your oppressors. Judges chapter 1 verse 5 to 7. Judges chapter 1 verse 5 to 7. They found Adonibezek in Bezek. And they fought against him. And they slew the Canaanites and the Perizzites. But Adonizek Bezek fled and they pursued after him and caught him. And cut off his thumbs and his great toes. And Adonibezek said, three score and ten kings, having their thumbs and their great toes cut off, gathered their meat under my table. As I have done, so God has recruited me. And they brought him to Jerusalem and there he died. Adonis Bezek was a king, but a wicked king. He was an oppressor. He was a tyrant. He goes round to look for other kings to humiliate. Not only will he defeat them, he will cut off their tongues and their toes. He will put them under, under his table. Kings, he will put them under his table. They will be collecting food under his table. He humiliates people. There are People, oppressors who have been humiliating the glory of God in your life. And I stand here today as a servant of the living God. And I decree, everyone who has been oppressing your destiny, this particular month, before this month is over, the almighty God will judge them. That's why I know without any doubt, as you have chosen this particular topic, prepare for testimonies. Your testimonies will come forth. The Lord will judge your oppressors. Say that to yourself, the Lord will judge my oppressors. Please say it very well. Number three, how do I know that God wants you to manifest? Because your hope will yield results. You have been hoping for some great thing for all this while. 
your hope will yield results. Psalm 42 from verse 2. Psalm 42 from verse 2. My soul trusted for God. For the living God. When shall I come and I appear before God? My tears have been my midday and night. While they constantly say unto me, where is thy God? When I remember these things, I pour out my soul in me. For I gone with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God. And with the voice of joy and praise. With a multitude that kept holy day. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieting in me? Hope thou in God. For I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. This was David, the man of God. The man that God loves. This is a man that God said, I have found a man after my own heart. This was a man that God went to look for behind, I mean behind the desert, in the wilderness. When God was searching for a king. He looked all around, he didn't find any in the city. He found someone far away. David was not asking for kingship. But from the day that God chose him that he was going to be a king, he started to have problems. Do you know, one of the reasons why you are having problems in your life is because your enemy knows that you are going to the top. They know you are meant for the top. They know that you are meant for greatness. And it doesn't matter what they do, you will get there. I say you will get there. That's the reason why I can assure you today, even though you have been hoping all this while you have not seen results, your hope will yield results. And because of all the kinds of attack that David received all his life, he cried and cried several times. He ran from pillar to post. The enemy pursued him here and there. There was a time when the king of Israel, Saul, gathered together 3,000 crack soldiers because of one small boy. When the enemy knows that you are meant for the top, they will fight you. Don't be afraid when they are fighting you. It's because they know you are going places. I said you are going places. I said you are going places. If they are not fighting you, that means there is, not, there is nothing in you that is worth fighting for. But because there is something in you that they know, if this thing should manifest, this one will go beyond us. That's why they are fighting. David knew that. He cried unto the Lord. He wept. He said, oh, my soul, I'm thirsty for God. I know if only God can avail for me and arise for me, I know that my situation will change. He said, my soul, why are you disquieting within me? Why are you discouraged? Why are you depressed? Several people in Nigeria today are depressed. I am here to tell you, let depression disappear. You will manifest. I said, you will manifest. The kind of prayer we are going to pray this morning. Every demon that has held you down. Every demon that has bring the dark cloud of depression upon your life. Before we leave here today, they will put up the, their hands from all your life. Let your amen be louder. Hope will yield results. That takes me to number four. You must manifest because I believe, even as you have come before the presence of the Lord today, your strength shall be renewed. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. Isaiah 40 31. The Bible says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. He didn't say may renew their strength. But the Bible says shall. In other words, there is no way you wait on the Lord. There is no way you come before his presence and your life will remain the same. No way. There is no way you contact the power of the almighty God and your strength will not be renewed. Your strength must be renewed today. Those that wait upon the Lord, their strength shall be renewed. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. That will be your testimony. 
Do you know, I have interacted with several people since, I mean, for the past few years when we have been having all kinds of challenges in government. And many of them, they have given up hope. Somebody came for counseling one day. And while we were discussing, while, while we were interacting, he told me, he said, sir, my concern is about my children. I don't know exactly how my children will survive. How am I going to take care of my children? And the Holy Spirit told me, tell him, if he dies, his children will still survive. So when I said that, he was shocked. And that's, that's what I'm telling you. Don't die before your manifestation. Many of us, we are so gripped by the, what is happening. You can't sleep at night. You have no peace of mind in the day. Your blood pressure is shooting up. And instead of you to spend the little money to eat good food, you are spending it on drugs. Why do you want to kill yourself before your time? Tell your neighbor, don't die before your time. Please help me shout that to his ears. Say it very well. There's no reason. The little money you have, enjoy it. Don't spend it on drugs. Relax because if God does not help you, nobody can help you. Relax yourself completely. Put yourself into the hand of the almighty God. Wait upon him because he will renew your strength. That takes me to number five. Why must you manifest? How do I know you will manifest? Because it is time for your destiny to soar. It's time for your destiny to soar. I'm, I was so excited by the song taken by the choir this morning. Very powerful song. The story of Jabez is one of the best stories in the Bible. Have you ever wondered about the life of Jabez? How a woman will give birth to a child after carrying that boy for nine months. And the boy came forth and the woman said, his name is no comfort. Comfortless. His name is sorrow. His name is pain. I have never seen a child. I mean, a woman who would do that. But this woman did. The woman must have suffered a lot during the pregnancy. There is the possibility that maybe before, I mean, while the child was still in the womb, maybe the husband died. And then those who were left behind, instead of taking care of the woman, they forsook her and did all kinds of things and visited all kinds of oppression on her. There is the possibility that this, the, the woman was raped. That's another possibility. And um, she may not even know who was the father. All kinds of things could have happened. And one day, that woman woke up and said, you child, you are a child of sorrow. And sorrow was following that child all his life. That child had nothing that you can describe as comfort. After trying all sources and there was no help, maybe somebody told him one day, why don't you go to God? And every day he was going to the house of God. This child had not gone to school. He had grown up a young man without any form of education. Will you allow a child whose name is called sorrow to remain in your class? If you are a teacher, you won't allow him. You will drive him away. This boy had no friends. Anytime anybody moves closer and they ask for his name and they said, my name is Jabez. The, the parents will say, why do you want to be a friend of Jabez? Because in Israel, name means a lot. Names are meanings. Names are prophetic. His name brought sorrow every day. But he began to go to God. You have gone to God. To, you have come to God today. May I tell you, the one that Jabez contacted, that's the one you have come to today. And as he came to God, and God changed the story, the Lord will change your story. Yeah. Now listen to me. I studied the life of Jabez. Those two verses, I studied them for several years. There are only two verses for his name. And they have written thousands of books on it. Why? Because his life was different. His life brought a difference. All of a sudden, the more I studied that, the more the Lord began to speak to me about it. 
Suddenly it occurred to me. It may be that this particular boy was coming to church every day. And he was praying only one type of prayer. He didn't go to Bible college. So he didn't know how to pray any other type of prayer. Oh Lord, just bless me. Lord, change my story. Let your hand be with me. Take evil away far from me. Don't let it grip me. And then he will leave. He was praying the same type of prayer. So there was this particular worker in the church who was seeing him every day. So even that worker knew the prayer he was praying. And then when he didn't see him again, he asked about him. They said, God has answered your, his prayer. Listen to me. God will answer your prayer. Yeah. Say your neighbor, God will answer my prayer. Yeah. Say it very well. The reason why his name entered the Bible was simply because he prayed and God answered. That was the reason why in verse 9, the testimony preceded the prayer. In verse 9, we had the testimony. The Bible says, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. In other words, those who have gone ahead of him, he overtook them. That was the testimony. And then they now revealed to us, even though the mother called his name Jabez, saying, I bear with sorrow. Jabez changed the narrative when he went to God and he started to manifest. I know there's someone here today. You will begin to manifest. Stand up on your feet. It is time to pray together. It's time to pray together. This kind of message shouldn't be too long so that you can remember. And that's why I want you to turn it to prayer. You are going to pray these five points into your life this morning. Remember, Jabez prayed and then he manifested. It cannot be the other way around. When you prayed, then it began to manifest. That means you must pray before there will be manifestation. Are you ready to pray this morning? Raise your hand to God and begin to give him glory and appreciate him that your own time of manifestation has come. Go ahead and begin to praise him and worship him. That my own time of manifestation has come. You exalt the name of the almighty God. Exalt his name. Give him glory. Give him honor. Give him adoration. Yes, give him adoration. Your own time of manifestation has come. It is now time for you to manifest. Give him glory. Lord, tell him, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. Because my own time to manifest has come. You were the one who answered the prayer of Jabez. And you changed his narratives. My father, my God, my own time for manifestation has come. So I've come to thank you in advance. Because of what you are about to do in my life. My own time of manifestation has come. Thank you, my father. And blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You are going to cry to the Lord and say, Heavenly Father, it is time for me to manifest because the world is waiting for me. Cry to the Lord, cry to the Lord. The world is waiting for me. The world is waiting for me. The world is waiting. My Father, the world is waiting for me. The world is waiting. The other things you sent me out to perform, oh God. Several things that I have not yet performed. The other things you want me to manifest. There are creations that must come through me. My father. Lord, the world is waiting. The world is waiting for me. My father, the world is waiting for me. There is something in me that will make the world a better place. The world is waiting for me, Lord. The world is waiting for me. Father Almighty, it's my time to manifest. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You say your amen very well. 
You are going to cry to the Lord say, Heavenly Father, it is time to judge my oppressor. Judge them speedily now. All those who have oppressed me, all those who are oppressing me, every Adonibesek of my life, those who have humiliated your grace upon my life, those who are stamping down your glory upon my life, oh God, Father, it is time to judge them. It is time to judge them. What Adonibezek did for 70 kings, you eventually visited upon him. Visit every Adonibezek of my life and let it start now. Let it start now. Right now. Right now. Let it start now, my father. Every Adonibezek of my life, they must receive judgment from your hand. They must know that I belong to you. They must know I belong to you. My father! My father, visit all the other the basic of my life with judgment right now. Visit my oppressors with judgment. Judge them, oh God. Judge them, oh God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say your amen very well. The Bible says, Up the fat, make it the heart sick. But when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. That's why you are going to pray. My hope must yield results. My hope must yield results. All that I have hoped for, my father, before this month is over, let me see the result. Let me see the result. Begin to pray for yourself. Let me see the result. Let me see the result. My father, let me see the results. King of glory. Let me see the results. All that I have hoped for. Before this month is over. Let me see the results. David prayed. My soul. Why are you disquieted with, within me? Hope thou in God. Hope thou in God. And all that he hoped for became reality. He got to the throne. He fulfilled divine purpose. My father, let my hope yield results. Let my hope yield results. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Glory and honor be to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You are going to cry to the Lord and say, Heavenly Father, you said in your word that those who wait on you shall renew their strength. It is now my time. Renew my strength, oh God. Cry, cry, cry to the Lord, cry to the Lord. Renew my strength, oh God. Renew my strength, oh God. I have come before you for a new hour of strength. Physical strength. Emotional strength. Financial strength. Strength all around. Spiritual strength. Renew my strength. I am weary. I am weak. But you are strong. Father, renew my strength. That's your promise. Father, renew my strength. Father, renew my strength. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Renew my strength. I must not live here today the way I had come. 
I must leave here whole or strong. Strong physically, strong emotionally, to be able to confront my future. My future is waiting, oh God. Renew my strength, oh Lord. Strengthen me above all my challenges. The challenges are real all around me. The challenges are waiting for me in the place of work. There are challenges at home. Challenges within and without. My father, renew my strength today. I have come just as I am. I'm not, I am not deceiving myself. I need a renew our strength. And if you don't help me, there is no one who can. Those who wait on the Lord. I have come before you, Lord, to contact strength. To receive a renewer. My father. You have more than enough. You are called the strength of Israel. You can carry a nation. You can carry the whole world. My father. My problem is little. Compared to your strength. Renew me O oh Lord. Renew me. Renew me O oh Lord. Renew me. Let me mount up with wings as he goes. Let me mount up with wings as he goes. These are the days when the youths are fainting. Those who used to be strong, they are becoming very weak. I know, oh Lord, on my own, I am nothing. Without you, renew my strength, Heavenly Father. Release into me that which you have, oh God. Infuse your ability into my veins. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father Lord, renew my strength. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Let your amen be louder. One more prayer before I pray for you. Your destiny must soar. The destiny of Jabez soared. And may, may I tell you something about Jabez? Do you know that something that shocked me about this man, this young man who became someone great in Israel, is that even though his name was Jabez, he never changed the name. But when his story changed, everybody who had run away, they came around, they flocked around him. And very soon, his name became the name of a city. Yes, the name of Jabez became the name of a city. And people were living there. They didn't say, oh, the name means sorrow. No, his story changed the name. Your story will change everything. Your destiny will soar. You are going to cry to the Lord and say, Heavenly Father, let my destiny soar. Cry to the Lord, cry to the Lord. Let my destiny soar. Change my story. They said I am buried. My father, change my story. They said I have failed. Father, change my story. Let my destiny soar. They said I am already plateaued. I cannot go forward. Change my story. Let my destiny soar. My father, let my destiny soar. You are the one who has decided to call me out of darkness into your marvelous light. Let my destiny soar. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to your name. Lord, I worship you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I worship you. 
Oh, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Ima, Emmanuel, Ima, New World. Thank you, Jesus. you to do is to put your hand in his hand and it will take you to that future. Amen. And there's someone who's, who's saying in her heart in his heart I think I have tried all things and I don't know where to go again. I don't know what to do again. The Lord said just put your hand in my hand. And I would like to join my faith with your own. Amen. I would like you to step forward. You need, you need a support of prayer at such a time like this. You discover that your own prayer alone can't take you through this season. You need a support of prayer. I want you to come forward. Even as we sing that song two times more, and I will join my own faith with your own. Ima, 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 you because you have revealed to us that you are real. Circumstances around us may change but you never change. From eternity to eternity my father events have proved to us you remain the same forever. We appreciate you Lord because from generation to generation you have helped people. We have read in history we have read testimonies. We have read biographies. We have read life stories of people who have reached their wit's end and all of a sudden they sought after you and you walked for them. My father, all these had come unto you. My Lord and my God, they said they have, they have reached their wit's end. They don't know what to do again. But Lord, even before the problem came, you knew everything. Your power had never reduced. In that name that surpasses every other name, even the name of the Lord Jesus, I call upon you today, my Father, help them. Amen. Father, help them. Amen. My Father, 
help them. You are called the strength of Israel. If you can carry a whole nation, you can carry an individual. You can carry a family. You can carry a business. You can carry a career. Father Almighty, help us. The one who is called the Almighty, help us. King of glory, we have, asked, we have come today, O oh Lord, to seek for your sustenance grace. We have come, my Father, my God, to manifest what you have put within us. Father Almighty, there are situations and policies all around us, in all our states, in our federation. There are all kinds of circumstances that have put us under. They have made up their mind that they are going to weaken us. They are going to oppress your glory in our life. My father, whatever you have to do to show to the strong and the mighty, to show to those who are oppressing us that you are God. Father, do it speedily in the name of Jesus. You reveal yourself to Adonai Bezek. You manifested your power when he was judged by those who are stronger than him. Every Adonai Bezek in our lives, against our destiny, against your glory on us, every Adonai Bezek, judge them in the name of Jesus. Fight them in the name of Jesus. Let your glory manifest in our lives. Change our story for the better. Thank you, Daddy. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. And everybody will say, the church of the living God will say, shake out with the people around you and bless them with the blessing of the Lord. Shake out with them. Tell them congratulations. Hallelujah. People of God, shall we be on our feet at this moment? We will soon go home. I want us to stretch forth our hands to our daddy. All the way from Abuja, he came because of you. So that can be blessed. Let us pray for him. He is a continental overseer in charge of continent true. For Northern Nigeria, North and Central Africa, let us pray that God will carry him, that God will carry his family, that God will carry the ministry that God has committed in his hand, that he will not fail, he will not fall. Anywhere he travels to, his play will not crash. Shall we pray for him? Let us pray for him. He is the one in charge of the north, northern Nigeria, that you will not know if you shall be for him and his family. He will not be kidnapped. None of his family or his team members will be kidnapped. That anywhere he travel to, throughout the northern part of Nigeria, Accident is banishing his life. Anytime he hear from us or we hear from him, it shall be good news. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Shall we begin to bring our prayer close? So, shall it be in the name of the Father and of the Son? And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Daddy, we are very, very grateful. People of God, let me tell you the truth. I've been asking Daddy to come and bless us for the for past nine years. 
But that is a very, very busy person. The first phone I used, daddy bought it for me. The first phone plus the SIM. I remember in those days, daddy will send me money every month. I've been with him for past 27 years. He's my father and he's my mentor. Show me your own mentor. Daddy, we thank you, sir. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Let somebody shout, I will manifest. I'm already manifesting. Praise the Lord. It's time to give an offering. The Bible says, give and it shall be given unto you. And then God says, he loves a cheerful giver. As you give your offering this morning, the Lord will bless you richly in the mighty name of Jesus. Titus first. Titus, please. Package your tights. Raise your tights up. According to Malachi 3, the Bible encourages us to do what? To bring our tithe and offering. God said we should try him. If he will not open the windows of heaven upon us and pour unto us blessings that rooms will not be enough to curtail them. And he said we bound the world are concerning us. It will make us a delight from somebody. Pray over your tithes that the Almighty God accepts you, accept your tithes in the mighty name of Jesus. Ask God to use it for his glory in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now let's package our offering. Let's package our offering. And we are going to dance and we are going to give cheerfully. God loves a cheerful giver. Praise the Lord. Come and see what the Lord has done for me. Come and see what the Lord has done for me. Oh, come and see what the Lord has done for me. If it were to be mine, I would really be. Come and see oh, what the Lord has done for me.
bless you, choir, for our online giving. The account is being on the screen. Please key in, and the Lord will answer your prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shall we pray? Father, I want to thank you. Lord, I want to appreciate you. Our Lord and God, this is our offering. Father, I want to thank you. Accept us, accept our offering in the mighty name of Jesus. Use this for your glory in the name of Jesus. Our Lord and our God, we have cried unto you, cry of manifestation. Father, manifest your life in our, in, manifest yourself in our life concerning this offering in the name of Jesus. Lord, let there be testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. By the time we come back, oh Lord, let there be testimony. Increase us in the name of Jesus. Father, increase us in the name of Jesus. Let the earth yield increase concerning this our offering title today in the name of Jesus. Our Father and our Lord, you bless Jabez. You bless him indeed. Father, bless your people indeed in the name of Jesus. Our Lord and our God, you enlarge his coast. Father, enlarge our coast concerning this offering in the name of Jesus. Our Lord and our Father, your hand was upon him. Let your hand be upon us concerning this offering to this morning in the name of Jesus. You take it away from us, Father Lord. Take it away from us in the name of Jesus. Our Lord, take it away from us and it will not grieve any one of us in the name of Jesus. Cover this offering with the blood of Jesus. Let your blood avail mightily concerning the offering in the name of Jesus. Use it for your glory in the name of Jesus. Daddy, we thank you. Blessed, blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. We can please have our seats as the audiovisual gives us the announcements for this morning. Good day, church. My name is Emmanuel Bomano, and I'm excited to bring to you today's announcement. I am convinced you are as blessed as I was during the service today. It is always a wonderful time and experience being with brethren, worshipping and learning from God's word. The time for our Sunday services is first service, 7.30 a.m. and second service, 9.15 a.m. For Thanksgiving Sunday service, the time is 9 a.m. We hope to see you in our next service. To our first timers, on behalf of the pastorate and the church, we are glad you were a part of us today and we are certain you were blessed during the course of the service. We hope to see more of you as you become a part of our big family. Please note, don't be in a hurry to leave as we have a little reception for you immediately after the service. Stay tuned as we give you a rundown of our weekly services and programs. Can you note your Sunday service isn't complete without attending Sunday school? Classes are open to old and new members do endeavor to attend the next Sunday school class. For those who just give their lives to Christ and want to grow more in God's word, Believer's class holds every Sunday, except for the first Sunday of the month. The meeting point is on the gallery. Also, if you want to be baptized by a mansion, water baptism, can you see us at the parish admin office after the service? Where two or more persons are gathered in God's name, God is definitely in their midst. House fellowship holds every Sunday except for the first Sunday of the month at 6 p.m. Kindly check the bulletin for the House Fellowship Center that is nearest to your house and endeavor to attend. What better way to start off the new week than in the presence of God? Join us tomorrow morning for the Dew of Heaven anointing service at 6 a.m. Come and be expectant. Join us every Tuesday evening at 6.30 p.m. as we search the scriptures to edify our souls in our Digging Deep service. Join us every Thursday in the presence of God and experience an hour of refreshing with Pastor J.T. Kalejai. Time, 7.45 a.m. It promises to be filled with God's blessings. And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. Join us every Thursday evening at 6 p.m. 
for our faith clinic service as we pray and join our faiths together. He that wins souls for God's kingdom is wise. Join us every Saturday for our evangelism outreach. We meet in the church at 4.30 p.m. and we launch out at 4.45 p.m. God bless you as you win souls into his kingdom in Jesus' name. The church is in need of your financial support for the maintenance of our facilities. As you are led, you can write a check or do a transfer in favor of ROCCG Victory House, Zenith Bank, account number 101-66-84765. We sincerely appreciate your generosity and may God continually bless you. My name is Emmanuel Bobmano for Victory House News. Do have an amazing and productive week ahead. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'll just add one announcement. Okay, sorry, two announcements to what we've already heard. The Lagos Province 3 Youth and Young Adult Conference comes up this Saturday, 20th of April, 2024. The theme is Streams of Joy. Host is, of course, our father in law, Pastor Tony Ulugbemi. Ministry is Pastor Shane Tai Wakilakpa, who is the provincial youth pastor. Pastor Adebayo Akindu Yite, who is the RCCG youth evangelist, evangelist for Region 2 and Region 19. Pastor Mrs. Grace Owotoki, the wife of the pastor in charge of Area 26, and other anointed ministers of God. The time is 10 a.m. this Saturday. It's taking place here in this auditorium. So if you are a youth, or you are young at heart. If you want streams of joy to flow into your life, I believe you will be here this Saturday and God will bless you as you do so in the mighty name of Jesus. The other announcement I want to make is that the Teens Church is now available for use as an event center. So if you want an event center, a cozy and affordable event center, please see us at the parish admin office for details and God will bless you as you do so in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Now, if you are worshiping with us on a Sunday morning for the first time, if this is your first Sunday in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Victory House, wherever you are in this auditorium, can you please wave your hands so we can recognize you? Wherever you are, please stand up on your feet. The church wants to recognize and appreciate your coming. Church, can we clap for them? As they take their bags and their Bibles and their briefcases and come to the front. We'll continue to clap for them until they get to the front. Let them know that they are very, very welcome in our midst. Let them know that they are just enlisted into a new family. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's somebody coming from the left. Can we please clap for him as he marches forward? These are our new brothers and sisters. You are welcome to the Redeemed Christian Church of God Victory House. I can, I, from the smile on your face, I know you enjoyed the service. So I want you to know that for every service you come, this kind of enjoyment, this kind of smile, you will constantly receive. It's the place where we encounter God in all of his glory. And you will encounter him every time you come to this place in the mighty name of Jesus. If you look to your left, one of our sisters is welcoming you. If you go with her, she will tell you everything you want to know about our church and give you a token of appreciation for your coming. Church, can we clap for them as they go forward? Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. We're about closing. Please, let's be on our feet as we take the redeemed Anthem. Choir, please. Let's be on our feet. We are redeemed, united in love. Jesus is for us. We shall conquer. We are together, united in love. Jesus is for us, we shall conquer, we are victorious, united in love, Jesus is for us, 
going to take the word of miracle. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We serve a God of signs and wonders. Therefore, we expect miracles, healing, and deliverance to manifest throughout this month. Face your neighbor and say, neighbor, I am an instrument of God's love and grace. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. As you have decreed, so shall it be. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Let's share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Put your right hand on your chest and say, Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Face your neighbor and say, Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life, and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shalom. <laughs>